For the past eight years, ever since he was just nine years old, around the same time the Russian military seized control of the Crimean Peninsula, Igor Kravenchko has been working on just one project. At first he used Lego blocks, but not now. His quadcopter mine detector is real and will be honoured at the UN. It's a drone which searches for and provides information about explosive objects. Igor Kravenko's entry was selected from over 7,000 others which were nominated from around the globe. Klemenko will actually receive about $100,000 as well. This is all from Chegg.org, the people who organised this competition. Here's a little more from Igor about how his mine detector works. It is a special device which includes drone and a metal detector. It is detecting landmines and providing signal to the user. After that, the signal is calculated and we can know exact coordinates of explosive objects. So we are providing complex scanning of territories remotely. So we're going to save hundreds or even thousands of lives by using this special device. And Igor Klebenko joins me now from New York. Welcome to the show. Oh, well, nice to meet you. Thanks. Um, it is a pleasure for me to speak to you today. Well, thank you for being here. Now, first up, uh, congratulations, I guess, on first place. Uh, how important is this win for you? And, and what does it mean, sort of in a practical sense? Oh, thank you very much for congratulations. So this award means to me that I have a voice. I have now to and speak to the global community, to the global change makers to make the world better. Also, I think that each Ukrainian that I know deserves this to be awarded. So I'm dedicating this award to all Ukrainians. Which is kind of good, uh, in the sense that you now get also about a, what a, uh, a chunk of money, which you can now invest, essentially, in, in your project. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to invest most part of the money for developing my project, Drone for Detecting Land Mines. Because I think it is my mission in life to create this project, to make the demanding process safer and faster, to save more lives, because the life is the most valuable thing that we have. You had this idea for a, a drone mine detector since the Russian invasion in 2014. Uh, I want to play yeah. part of a clip from the video message which you submitted to the judges, uh, and you're talking about the challenges you have faced over the years. Here we are, listen to this. I was living in basement with eight people, and I was continuing working on my device. I was hearing sounds of explosions, planes, rockets, but I know that I should continue working. I should go ahead and create my device to help our military, to help Ukrainian sufferers. How were you able to focus on developing this drone under those conditions? Because it was quite dangerous at times as well. Uh, it was really hard. After 24th of February, I moved with my family to the countryside and we were living in basement for two and a half months. And I just uh, thought that I shouldn't stop. I should go ahead, I should continue working on my device because I was working when I heard the planes sounds, rocket sounds, but I knew that my people are defending Ukraine from the Russians, from the Russian attack. So I should help them. I should create this device faster. So it motivated me, it inspired me that I can save a lot of lives. I can save lives of people who are defending my country. Um, here's a part of a report from Politico quoting a Ukrainian official on where and how these Russian mines are being used. As Russian forces retreated from northern Ukraine, they had booby traps and improvised explosive devices in food facilities, car trunks, washing machines, doorways, hospital beds, and even the bodies of those killed by the invasion, this official said, describing how they deliberately hid explosives in toys and shiny objects that attract children's attention. And you can add to that just some context here. One estimate has about 62,000 square miles of Ukrainian land essentially contaminated by Russian mines. Even with drones like yours, demining Ukraine is likely to still take years. Yes, yeah, so developing of this device can help us to demine territories much faster and much safer. So it was calculated that we need about more than 10 years for demining all the territories of Ukraine. But I think with this device, we can do it much faster and save more lives of our military and Ukrainian people. After that, I want also to spread this device across the world to solve war land mining problem, to demine as, as many land mines, as much territories connected, which are suffering from the land mines as I can. And, and just go back to 2014 for me very quickly. And what was your original motivation? Why, you know, a, a drone which could detect mines? That seems kind of obscure, if you like. In 2014, 
when the Russia attacked Crimea, I just started thinking, I heard that from youth, I heard it from parents, and I started thinking, how can I, a student, help my people, help people who are defending Ukrainian borders? And I thought about creating some innovations. I searched for uh, problems, for a really common and awful problems that were connected to Ukraine at the time, and found out that the land mining problem is has their awful consequences, post-war consequences. Mm -hmm. That I started, came up to different ideas, saying Kenya came up with the idea of creating the drone for detecting the land miners remotely. Okay, and, and, and an idea which is paying off. So, Igor Klobenko, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you very much, you too.